everyone, it's Vanessa. In today's video, I want to talk about my middle grade March TBR. This is a readathon that's going on all month of March, and it's to encourage you to read more middle grade novels and books. It's hosted by Katie from Life Between Words, and I'm really excited about this. Middle grade is a genre that I've really gotten into in the past year. Let's get into my TBR. The first challenge is to read a nonfiction book or a book based on true events. I'm going to be reading Red Scarf Girl by Ji Li Jiang. This is a book about the cultural revolution in China. It is a historical memoir and I'm excited to learn more about this. This is one of the books that's part of my program that I mentioned maybe a couple videos ago that we're doing. So the 5th, 6th graders read this book. I've read 5 of the 10 of the 5th, 6th grade books, but I haven't read this one, and it was still on my mind to read. I also found a way to listen to the audiobook, so that's good as well. The second challenge is to read a book with a non-human main character or significant side character. This one was a little bit more difficult because I don't read a lot of that kind of stuff. I decided to go with an arc that I got at a conference recently, and that is Song for a Whale by Lynn Kelly. This is coming out this month in February. Library, so it's going to be out by the time that this readathon starts. This is a book about a girl named Iris who is 12 years old and she is deaf. She's never had a problem with that uh, in her life and when she learns about the loneliest whale in the world she starts to think that she can use her techie kind of skills to communicate with this whale. It says one small problem the whale is swimming off the coast of Alaska nearly 3,000 miles from her Texas home and with her deaf grandmother by her side she says out on a road trip to meet this whale and make sure he's finally heard. So it has a whale significant side character and I thought that that would suit this challenge. The next challenge is to read a fantasy. I do not read a lot of fantasy but I thought this book would fit perfectly and I will listen to it probably mostly on audiobook. That is Roald Dahl's James and the Giant Peach. I have friend Matilda and really enjoyed it last year and this is one of my co-workers favorite Roald Dahl books and I've been meaning to read it because she liked it so much. I love this cover. The text inside is also orange, which I think is really fun, so it's peachy. Supposedly, it's about a boy who is sent to live with his two aunts, and after he drops some magic crystals by a peach tree, strange things start to happen magic ensues. The next challenge is to read a book written in verse. I've never read Sharon Creech and I'm excited to try out Love That Dog. This is a beloved book, one that I have heard lots of families talk about in the library, so I want to read it and I want to know what it's all about and it is entirely written in verse and supposedly it's really approachable, which I am looking forward to. And it's an animal story, which is good too. And the last challenge is to read a diverse book and they've been very broad about it. Different ethnicity, nationality, ability, religion, etc. I focused on economic standing and region too of the country. I selected another one of the arcs that I got at that conference and it's A Drop of Hope. This is a story about a small Rust Belt town and kind of the difficulties that they are facing as business is leaving their town. One thing that really attracted me to this book is um, here where it says, it's the story of a small Rust Belt town on the decline, an old well that's suddenly begun to grant impossible wishes, a group of sixth graders with nothing in common, and a few small acts of kindness that help a divided community choose empathy and unity over anger and fear. And this one also is releasing in February. It releases at the end of February. So it'll be out by the time middle grade March starts. I have a couple other ideas about possible things I might read, including this book that I've had out for a while, and that's Breakout by Kate Messner. And this could also probably fit in the diverse book because it focuses on race relations in this town when some inmates escape Escape from prison. This one is not available on audiobook and it's got lots of clippings which is also interesting to me. And so this one might be a fun one to read if I, you know, read all the other ones or if I change my mind about a couple of them. So I'm excited for a middle grade March and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.